ever since engineering was invented in 10,241 BC. Architects have been massacring the basic common sense and mathematic equations that allow humans to live peacefully. The rivalry between architects and engineers surpasses that of the ongoing battle between cats and dogs. Arguments of which is better, Pepsi or Coca-Cola. The constant correction of the pronunciation of tomato or tomato. And it even surpasses that of one of the world's longest debates, which brother is better, Mario or Luigi. But today, after years of torment, us engineers finally get our revenge as we get to build the perfect hell, a hell for architects. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome to Hell Architect. Uh, I forgot how cool this mouse was. Whee! Uh, so the full game is finally out. We last dabbled with this in the prologue. Uh, but let's head into Sandbox and we get the lovely loading screen. I forgot about this. <laughs> of just the constant supply of architects falling into hell. Yes, anyone out there that's about to choose architecture as their major at university, etc. Uh, just remember, you will end up falling down this pit into my hell. All right, so here we are in hell. We've got we've got four starting architects. So we've got Shelly. She was responsible for this monstrosity. Adrian is back. He was in the prologue, if you remember. Uh, we're not we're not even going to mention what he did. This is Eve. She was responsible for this. And Matthew. Matthew? That's not an architect's name. That must be a mistake. Uh, but anyway, in eight minutes and 45-ish seconds, we're going to have a new guest. A new architect will be joining us. Uh, so, so we need to we need to welcome him. We need to uh, get to work. So first off, we're gonna we're gonna select some areas to dig. I uh, can't remember if they can go three high or just two. It might just be two. Oh no, they can. Yes, that's right. They have. <laughs> They're uh, they actually quite smart. These architects, surprisingly, they've obviously been following their engineering colleagues and uh, brought a shovel on a stick with them. So fair play. So essentially, these guys are just mining. So they're getting us the basic resources and hell. So we got some metal, some dirt, and some coal. So we can use these to build all sorts of things. And obviously being in hell, the, the most basic necessity is to torture. <laughs> yeah, and there's there's so many things to choose from this time. I think before we had these four items that run to the hills. Da -da 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 -da. The Iron Maiden, uh, the Bath Kings, the Rack and the Furnace. But this time, look, we've got pages and pages of things. Yeah, but these all cost various amounts of resources and things. So we're probably going to have to start with the Iron Maiden and maybe the bath. We've got some dirt. Let's build a bath straight up. So I'm going to have torture chamber to the right. So we'll put a bath there. We're going to dig underneath what we had. So those three can carry on digging. Meanwhile, I think this is Eve. Is it? Is it yes, this is Eve. We're going to we're going to put Eve in the bath. So there you go. Get in there. <laughs> Yeah, is it a bit hot for you, Eve? But yes, maybe you should have thought about that overhanging cantilever that's impossible to build. Uh, so, so you can see at the top, we're now gaining some suffering. And suffering is one of the most important currencies in hell. It allows us to build all, all sorts of things, like all these, these higher tier torch devices. They all need different suffering. So this one, the rack, this needs 200 suffering. Now, at the moment, we've only got 25. So we might have to, I think we'll build an Iron Maiden to go next to our bath. And uh, whilst these guys are digging, they're going to need a way back. So we're going to have to build some sort of ladder. So if we build that, you can see here, old Adrian, he's donned a hard hat. He's trying to redeem himself. Yeah, they're building a ladder so they can get back. All right, nice. And Adrian has decided to get into rock music. He's going to build the Iron Maiden. And then it's actually his lucky day. We're going to we're gonna put him in the Iron Maiden. So no, 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 Adrian, you come back this way. So yeah, suffering is doing well. Doing really well. Uh, meanwhile, we can't we can't just make our people suffer. They do actually need to eat, drink, and sleep. Because uh, the idea of hell is they don't just die. They need to they need to live a long, long, torturous life full of suffering. So down on this second layer, we're gonna build somewhere for them to rest. We could go with a hibernation chamber. Maybe step it down, armchair. Maybe a bed if we're feeling nice. Yeah, but as these are architects, they're getting a paper box. Yeah, I'm also going to build somewhere for them to drink. So in hell, there's there's a variety of drinks to choose from. You have dirty water, normal water, coffee, which I'm glad that's in hell. I'm a tea drinker, not a coffee drinker. Energy drink. Also, once once you get like in your late 20s, energy drink is it's just not the same. Although you mix it with vodka, and I, I can still just about manage that. Uh, finally, they've got root beer. That sounds a bit too nice for them. So I think we're going to start off with dirty water. So there's three stages to creating drinking water in hell. 
Uh, you start off with a latrine, or what you might know as a toilet. So we bung that there. Shelly is building that. Good work, Shelly. Uh, we then need a water squeezer. So that can go right next to it. And Matthew's going to come and build that now. Good work, sir. So our new architect has finally arrived. This is Charlotte. Uh, she did the unthinkable and she turned this building. Thanks to her input, it now looks like this. So yes, you, you can see why she is here. Now, in fact, that's, that's really annoyed me, reminding that. So I'm going to tell Adrian, you can get out of there, mate. Charlotte. You're going to go for it. Run to the hills. And if you also notice Eve, her suffering, we're only getting one suffering out of her every every one cycle, however long a cycle is. Oh, there you go. A cycle is nine seconds. So every nine seconds, we're getting just one basement. And that's because there's, there's different traits. So you can see Eve's trait is blood down here. Uh, but the Bath of Kings torch device, it only inflicts extra suffering on those with the fire trait. Yeah, however, if you look at the Iron Maiden, you can see Charlotte, her trait is blood, and the trait of the Iron Maiden is blood. So we're getting, we're getting good suffering out of that one. Uh, I feel like Eve, we're, we're going to take you out there. So come over here. I'm going to force her to go to the toilet and then make some drinking waters. Uh, we might also start digging down. Is that worthwhile? I think we'll do another layer of hell and we'll build some ladders. All right, here we go. Here's, here's the architect test. They're digging directly beneath them. Uh, intrigued to see what's going to happen here. <laughs> what goes through the mind of an architect? We will never know. They might be saved. They've Matthew just built a ladder on top of them. So perhaps they won't land on the sharp crystals beneath. Oh, no. Okay. So they grabbed onto the ladder last minute, so they didn't fall. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's quite clever, to be fair. Right. We'll carry on with our drinking water. So a metal bucket goes next to there. Uh, I don't want all of you digging. So who, who's down here? Adrian, I think your trait is fire. 150% Adrian. Right. You are going in the bath of kings. Congratulations. Right. Meanwhile, over here, you can see how our drinking water works. So people have been emptied of fluids and other things. You can see the water squeezer is squeezing water out of things you can probably guess what it's doing there you go we've made five dirty water and if we send matthew to the drinking water he had a little sip there and he he's now he's now green on drink it's good stuff he also needs a toilet but he's not clever enough to send himself so i'll tell him to go up there he just loves digging that boy he just loves digging all right meanwhile we also need to think about food so we have drink we don't have, we don't have any food yet again four different meals in hell pretty nice we've got a smelly gloop a simple meal a tasty meal and a divine meal. Again, don't want to go too upmarket to start. So we're gonna we're gonna start with the production stage. And that involves using this, a flesh farm. So we'll shove that down this end. So Matthew's gonna go build that. Uh, meanwhile, a cauldron is required and then a trough. So we'll bung a cauldron next to it and then a trough next to that. Go and build, Matt, you lazy bastard. All right, so this here is the flesh farm. It produces two meats every 30 seconds. And then you can see at the top, our drink has started to go up. You can see all the different drinks we own, just dirty water at the moment. And then likewise, our food will go up and into the different meals. Lovely jubbly. And meanwhile, I've just noticed we can right click on people. And look, what is this? We can do, we can do all sorts. Oh no, I've just, oh no, I've killed Matthew. What's going on? Whoa, where's he gone? Oh, okay. I can choose, I can choose to remove someone from hell, I think. Anyway, Wayne, you will be replacing Matthew as head digger. Uh, Eve, we're going to shove you up there. Uh, meanwhile, it appears they can't get round the green crystal. So we're going to have to build a ladder that sort of goes around a bit like that. So obviously, because they're architects, they built a ladder that doesn't work. It just looks like a ladder. Doesn't actually work like one. So good work, guys. Good work. In the meantime, we're gonna. We're, I think we're going to swap some of these about. So Charlotte, I feel you've done your time. We're only making four suffering with you. So we're going to bring you down here. We're going to put you to work on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, Adrian, he's hungry. So I'll tell you what, Adrian, you can go make the food yourself. Meanwhile, we're going to do some digging. All right, so I'm going to come down here and we're going to go into specials. And we're going to build some research stones. So this will allow us to unlock new technology. And I'll tell you what, we're going to build it right up top, up there, right next to our hell door, which is surrounded by very reassuring words like, don't worry. Right, so things are going well, but I feel like there's not enough suffering going on. Well, literally no one is suffering at the moment. Uh, so let's have a look at these people down here. What sort of traits do they have? Oh, I think, Charlotte, you've done your time. So, Wayne, it's your turn. Get in the... Uh, me or Eve, I want you to create some water for people. Oh no, look, this guy's close to death. He needs food. Why can't you eat food? Eat food. I think there's no food. So it turns four meat into ten smelly goops. And we've definitely got four meat, haven't we? Ingredients. We've got 28 meat. Oh no, Eva's lost her mind. Gone to limbo. Oh god. So basically, if these architects die, 
from hunger or thirst, they go to limbo. Now, I feel like everyone's going to die because I can't work out how to create food. Somebody is coming. Here we go. Oh, he's finally, he's finally doing it. I don't know why that took so long. Oh, who's this? Willow. Hello, Willow. Looks like we've sent you down to the mines. Well, welcome to help. Cheers for coming. Right, food is now served. It looks pretty good, actually. It's meant to be smelly goop, but it sort of looks like cookies. Adrian is literally loving it. Uh, but I think if, I think there's we've done enough mining. Like, Willow, your trait is blood, so you can go in the Iron Maiden. Uh, Adrian's is fire, and he's sort of cheered up. He's still pretty hungry. So we'll let Adrian eat a little bit. There you go. Now he's sort of, he's not too hungry. So we'll send you to the bath. Get yourself cleaned up, mate. So meanwhile, our research stones, they're finally complete. They sort of resemble Stonehenge. And it looks like we need to spend crystals the green crystals yes so if we want to upgrade anything we need some green crystals so the next question is how the crap do we mine green crystals uh, the crystal refinery allows you to mine crystals but we need 25 essence now uh, we've only got 13 so use right mouse button on a sin oh okay so to gain essence we need to kill or sort of sort of kill punish punish i prefer one of our architects who shall we go for adrian wayne wayne's very hungry i could yeah, sorry, Wayne. We're gonna we're gonna save save the food for everyone else, and we're gonna we're gonna give you some eye gouging so we can gain some essence. So here we go. Oh wow, he just shoves those sticks right in there. <laughs> and there you go. There's our little devil taking him off to the hell heaven. But now we can build our crystal mine. So I think we might shove that down on this bottom floor. So that looks very engineering and not at all architectury. So don your hard hat, mate. Hopefully it will help you out. Uh, we are in a little bit of trouble now, seeing as we only have four sinners. Uh, really, really not ideal. But I'm hoping once we get some crystal mining going on. Yeah, we can now select these to be dug. So we're going to mine all the crystals. So I feel like it's probably worth heading into this area. And then potentially building some ladders and getting around here. Maybe, maybe if we can get up there somehow. So we can actually build a floor fragment. It only costs eight dirt. So perhaps we could do that. And that will allow us to get over here and mine most of these, I would have thought. Maybe even that one, if we can mine with something on a stick. Right, so now you can see we've got 26 green crystals, which means we can come back to the research center. We can choose different things to upgrade. So food and drink is probably the most critical things we've got to work on, because we, we do really need some more sinners. We'll go for a mushroom farm. Uh, we can also do a filled kitchen. Uh, then we could do a food truck. Uh, so if we come now down to our flesh farm we can press this button upgrade it costs 50 suffering 50 dirt 15 coal and five metal now we got plenty of all of them so we're going to upgrade that uh, we could also build our new mushroom farm and together with a filled kitchen that will allow us to create a simple meal so if i plan to put the mushroom farm there they'll have to dig that area out but that's fine i think we'll see just just keep going guys just keep going mine all that there's loads of crystals over here as well so that's always good and then we can build a filled kitchen and a food truck. So we should be producing loads of food in no time once all of that's built. Now I'm going to take Willow out of the suffering Iron Maiden chamber. We've got quite a bit of work to do down here. Uh, same with Shelly. She's really not making that much suffering. So I think we will remove for now. It might be worth upgrading our Iron Maiden. Uh, so we can afford to do it. And basically it makes the cycle quicker. And it makes people not as hungry, thirsty, need the toilet or sleep as quickly. So we'll do that. Oh, look at the spikes in there. But we need 50 essence for the final upgrade. Uh, so some of you will have to sacrifice yourselves. And meanwhile, let's get someone in here. Let's test out the new Iron Maiden song. People never thought they'd release a new song. But here we are. I wonder what it's going to sound like. Ready? What is the track going to sound like? Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right, so for the food, we're actually going to deconstruct both of these so that we only produce the simple meals from now on. So you go, yep, give a bit of a saw, bit of a whack with a hammer, deconstructed. And then we're producing mushrooms and meat now. So I might upgrade our mushroom farm. Nice, look at that. There's a radiator plumbed in and everything now. And yeah, that should produce enough resources. Create this, we're currently wasted on meat. We need six meat. There we go, we've got enough. So let's send a sinner over. So Willow, you get cooking on the barbie. I love that it comes with a poster, like, ooh, tasty. And quite, quite unusual, they're warming cookies on the barbie. That's, I'm quite jealous of that. All right, meanwhile, I think it's time to unlock, with our research, a new torch device. So we're going to unlock the rack and the loud music. Because I feel like architects, they're pretty, they're pretty timid people. I feel like loud 
Iron Maiden music blasting in their ears will be very intolerable for most of them. Uh, we're also going to research a freezer as well, because I'm pretty sure we had someone with the cold trait. So, oh, look, who's this? Emma. Emma is new. Uh, it was quite a long flight, so she's quite sweaty. So, so she's quite pleased to finally be able to clean off. Right, and I think it's time to build a rack. We'll bung that there. And to build the loud music, we need 200 suffering. We're currently on 140, so we need you two to hurry up and suffer. There you go, little, little press of the fast forward button and... <laughs> and the suffering is flying. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'm going I'm to take you out there, Emma, because... Although you did produce this despicable piece of engineering torture, uh, I feel I feel like heat. It's a, it's a bit unfair. Uh, so I'm instead going to put you in the rack. <laughs> oh, oh, look at her stretching. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's what you get for designing stupid, stupid buildings. Uh, she really doesn't like that. Suffering is twelve. What well, if we take Vinny out of there and we'll let him go sort himself out? He's a bit. He's not too happy. He's a bit. He's a bit unsure about hell. He's like, is this really the place for me? I'm going to pump some water. Good work, Vinny. Meanwhile, Adrian, he is loving that dirty water. That's so gross when you think about it. <laughs> so gross. All right, food situation still isn't that much better. I feel like perhaps we could build a few more of these farms. So we'll build on another flesh farm and another mushroom farm. And hopefully we'll have enough resources to keep these running constantly. I'm also going to research a water purifier. That will allow us to create some clean water once we have a drink dispenser as well. So... Those two are being done. Uh, meanwhile, we can finally afford the new torture of a freezer. So we'll bung that next to our rack. And also the loud music. So Charlotte's just building that. Lovely. Are you going to take him for a test drive, Charlotte? Shall we shove you in the freezer for a little bit? Look at that snowman. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, and who's this? Adrian, Adrian. No, 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 no. Come, come this way, sir. I don't want you to go in there. I want you to test out the loud music. It's how you find it, Adrian. It's so loud. Alright, so now we're getting plenty of suffering. We're on 180. So we should be able to build our water upgrades. So water purifier. That costs 200 suffering. That's quite a lot. That's all the suffering we own. So we'll build that. We'll actually speed up. And we'll try and get a few more people in these machines. There you go. Who's that? Oh, a new person, Thomas. Oh, he actually doesn't like fire. So instead, Thomas, we'll shove you in that one. How's that? Much better, right? Eight suffering. And I'll tell you what, let's do the unthinkable. We're going to upgrade this. Boosh, look, it's got pointy edges and an extra skull around the outside. And it means it means he'll just last a little bit longer in there. So lovely. We you know, get pumping that poo, please. Right, 300 suffering, which means we can now place our drink dispenser down. Now we've got lovely clean drinking water. <laughs> it's it's bright yellow. Essentially now the process. Willow reads the Daily Sin, or Architecture Weekly, as I like to refer to it. Uh, she does a bit of that. And then what she just produced there gets put in the top up here, gets pumped by this lovely lady, Jelly, uh, and water comes out. And that was the dirty water they were drinking. But now, now, the dirty water goes into this machine. Where Vinny here can turn it on and then just wave randomly. <laughs> Hello. Then as you can see, clean water comes out into this bucket. And then I think someone just comes along, drinks that, and then pisses in the top of the drink dispenser. So yeah, that is how you make clean water, ladies and gents. We're just going to let this run a bit. I feel like we're doing okay. I feel like we need to get some essence at some point, though. Yeah, so who's been late? You're quite lazy, Charlotte. I'll tell you what. Sod it. We're going to do some impaling. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That's quite disgusting. But we got 27 essence. Oh, I could do with another another load though. Who else is risking the chop? Adrian, to be honest, mate, you're Oh, he's pooing. He is pooing. He is helping society. He just did 10 excrements there. <laughs> Good work. Very useful. Uh, but no, I've had enough of you, Adrian. I'm sorry, old bean. Uh incineration for you. Oof. That is hot. That is hot. See you later. 35 essence. And now we've got the magic number. We have 69 essence. And you know what we can do with that? We can upgrade the Iron Maiden. Yes, they're finally releasing the comeback self-titled album. Oi, get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> Go in that one or something. Sorry, Willow's, Willow's a massive Iron Maiden fan. She just can't get enough. And most people didn't like the latest album, but she loves it. Uh, anyway, we are upgrading this to the max. Boosh. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at it. All right, someone come get in it. It now gives us eight suffering a cycle. Beautiful. Oh, look, Adela is in there. It's really fun to upgrade. Shall we, shall we have a look? Shall we see? Look, you can see Willow in there. We can't afford to upgrade it. Let's see what, what it does. Oh, wow. Yes. 
that's how you want to listen to Iron Maiden. Anyway, guys, peace, love, and triplets.